Hello, I'm Bowman, and I'm going to help you put your custom audio into your Half-Life Alex add-on. We'll have a look at looping, changing the sound source, changing the processing, and randomization. Let's give it a shot. Here's our sound. Left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Let's open Steam. Before we actually open our add-on, we'll check to see that we have our add-on. Very good. Let's go into the file path of Half-Life Alex under content, HLVR add-ons, the add-on we want, and here we are. All we have is one map and a maps folder. Let's make a sounds folder. We're gonna put our sound in here. Let's make a sound events folder. Within this folder, we're gonna place a text file. I named mine after the map I'm using. In this file, we're going to do a copy-paste. In description, you'll see what to copy. Let's edit. After the first bracket, you'll see the sound name. This can be numbers, letters, period, and underscore, but no spaces. Next is the type, which refers to the processing type within the engine. Volume and HRTF are usually set to 1. And VSND files refers to the file path of the sound we just placed within the sounds folder. The extension here is VSND, whereas our audio file is .wav, but that's the way it's supposed to be. We're going to save, and then we're going to change the extension of this text file from .txt to .vsndevts. If you're having trouble editing the extension, you might need to go in your file explorer under the View tab and hit the checkbox for file name extensions to edit this. We are ready to boot. Here in the Asset Browser, we're viewing way too many assets. Let's simplify the list by clicking on Mods and unselecting the mods that are not our add-on. We only have three assets now, our map, our VSND EVTS file, and the audio we just put in. Left, right, Click left, away to stop left. the playback. Let's open the map. We're going to place sounds in our map using entities of the Ambient Generic class. So click on Entity, and then at the top, we'll search Ambient Generic. Click to place. Control shift E will center the camera. And now in the object properties, we can get to work. For the sound name, we'll put the sound name in the VSND EVTS file, but the playback will not work just yet. We need to go into the asset browser, find this file, recompile it and reload it. This is the first thing you should do when your sounds aren't loading properly. Left, right, left. Now under start volume, let's set it to 10. And we'll scroll down to spawn flags, where we're going to uncheck the box for is not looped. We are going to leave start silent checked so we can control the sound better with triggers. Now let's give the sound a name for the triggers to reference. Now let's make a trigger. Use the box tool, click and drag, and now get the selector by pressing 1. Select the box and press Ctrl T. Now double click the box to view the logic. Under the outputs tab, we're going to click on the button for add. In the first box, select on start touch. In the next box, we're going to select the entity we just created, audio test. And the third box, we're going to select play sound. Beneath that, you'll see fire once only is left unchecked. Copy and control shift V for paste in place. We'll move it somewhere else. Double click. Go to outputs. And the third box will change to stop sound. At this point, we're ready to test our sounds. Build with F9. Footsteps and left, right, great. Left, left, right, left, right, right. Left, right, left. left and now we can make right, it stop. Left, right, right. The audio is looping and we haven't set any parameter to make it loop yet. That's because loop points in the WAV file itself make this happen. To set whether or not the file is looping, you need to edit the file itself. This can't be done within the engine.